Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, we're going to get back on this here. Yamaha Enduro, it's coming along slowly. I'm still waiting on my uh, needle and seat. Uh, but I did get in my impeller, so we'll be installing that. We'll be doing some sanding, some painting, some oil draining, and things like that. And moving right along with this outboard. So uh, that's what we're going to do here in this video. But first, we got to um, do a little bit of a package opening. Um, I got a package I received from Chris L., in Iowa. So big shout out to Chris and thank you so much. He had saw uh, one of my videos where I kind of went over my impact drivers and stuff and said he had one that he wasn't using and since I use them a lot he would send it to me. So thank you very much and I will use it a lot. So let's get over here. Get you pointed down. in this here package. There's the 18 volt batteries. These truly are one of my favorite little drill drivers. They're tough as nails and with that uh, interchange system that they have, um, I really like that. There's the driver. There's more wraps. And I can't never get enough of these chargers because I always got batteries charging on them. I buy them generally like four at a time on the batteries. There you go, and from there you can just put in your different drivers and so forth, and push down, pull out, and from there you just snap on the different heads. So I really like these. Again, thank you, Chris. It will be well used. Until I, well, even after I drop them, a lot of times they make it. <laughs> like I said, they are tough. All right, so the first thing I think I'm going to start out with doing is get the lower unit oil out of that lower unit before I uh, do any further painting on it or anything and taking any more of it apart. I'm going to go ahead and get that lower unit drained. I'll be right back. Okay. Had a couple comments. Now, how are you going to change that Earl? If you need to change that Earl with that thing on there. I was thinking, this is a piece of copper. Nipples, torch, heat.
There we go. That's what I was after. That's what I was after. Well, I think you get the idea. Get this old Earl out of here. Okay. All right. See how she look. How she look. Move some things. Trace of water in there, but not much. It's mostly just nasty and black. Mostly just nasty and black. the top plug in. Now I'll take that bottom one out. Try and get my Vaseline all in there. Hold that up. Like so. Get my other plug. Take my little rag. Wipe everything down. Hello everybody, you know what it means when I wear the hat, when I wear this hat. It means Christmas in January. Somebody came bearing the gifts. Let's look at it. There she be. Nice little 25 Evan Rue. I think that's a short shaft. It pulls over. Feels like it's got good compression. Everything's nice and free on it. Your shift shifts nice. Somebody came bearing gifts. I'll take it. It's a 1979 with a custom paint job. Gotta love it. 
Okay. We've got my little impeller wood drift key here in the back. We will put it in the slot, which is right there. Oh, you get in there. There we go. So there that is. Then we get the impeller. Okay. The impeller. It should come straight down. And line straight up, hopefully. And there she go. You can see it's turning the whole shaft. Okay. Then I squirt a little soap, soap, soap on that. Then I take my cup, put a little. I'm going to put just a little swithy of geese in there. You don't have to. That soap will do it for you. I'm going to do it anyway. And slide it on. Turn counterclockwise while mashing down. And she'll sit right down on there. Now I've taken all my bolts. And there are two long ones, two long ones, two short ones. You can see the long ones go in the back, short ones go in the front. I have them all aniseized up. So there are my two long ones. There are my two short ones. All good. And and it geased up. Crisscross applesauce there, look at that. Now we've got a nice new impeller in there. Now before I can do any painting on this thing, I'm going to have to take it out there and give it a good washing. And then let it dry because I've changed the oil in it. And I've got oil residue all over it. And if I was to try and paint it now, the paint would fail. <laughs> let me get it out there and get set up. I'll be back. Purple power on there. Bust that oil down. Bust that down.
she had a dream about the king of Sweden. He gave her things that she was needing. She had a dream about the king of Sweden. He gave her things that she was needing. Name that dude. Okay, we got that lower unit all done up, but it's got to dry. And uh, I've got some other painting that I need to do. This is a little bracket that goes on the uh, midsection there. So I'll put a few coats on that and then I gotta get some paint on the propeller. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my propeller. You can see it there. I got it all straightened out with my anvil and got the fins or blades all dressed up and she's ready to go too. She's looking pretty good. And uh, I said a few coats on this little piece here. She'll be looking good. So. So, moving along, coming along. Well, that's about all I'm going to do on these today. It's a pretty nice day out, and I want to get out and enjoy a little bit of it, but uh, we're steadily moving along. Um, got the water pump in, the prop taken care of, a few parts and pieces painted, got the bonnet sanded. I'll be doing some painting on that, and... Then I'll get it all back together, with the exception of the Kaba Dinata. And we'll just have to wait on that. As soon as that needle and seat gets in here, we slap that carby on. Hopefully I'll have everything ready by then. And it'll just be a matter of popping that carb, a couple hoses, and firing this puppy up. You understand. So, that's going to be a wrap. That is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.